Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. In the midst of hip-hop's most intense rivalries, a shocking revelation emerges, shedding light on Drake's alleged deceit in his feud with Kendrick Lamar. Recently, media personality academics shared insider information, suggesting that Drake may have fabricated elements of their feud, including feeding false information to Kendrick. This bombshell raises critical questions about the authenticity of the diss tracks and the integrity of both artists involved. Academics pointed out discrepancies in Drake's claims, particularly regarding his alleged secret daughter. And Stolen Possessions featured an artwork found in the cover art of Meet the Grams by Kendrick Lamar. While Drake portrayed himself as the mastermind behind misinformation in his diss track, Family Matters, academics suggest that Drake may have been deceptive himself, using reverse psychology to manipulate the narrative. However, this revelation extends beyond mere gossip. It exposes a deeper issue within the hip hop community. Both Drake and Kendrick have been accused of falsehoods in their diss tracks, undermining the credibility of their lyrical warfare. Do I, by the way, I think both of these guys put their fair shares of lies in there too, in, in the battle, right? Drake doesn't have a kid. Kendrick lied. But Kendrick's kid isn't Dave Freeze, from my understanding. So Drake lied. So there's lies all in this. <clears throat> what I've realized is that this battle, as much as people have been hyping it up, and trust me, I, I think Drake knew that these things were stolen. Okay? So th it, this th does look like some stolen shit, I'm going to be honest with you. Drake did knew that they were stolen. I don't know if he, he's like trying to reverse psychology it, saying, well, now I know it's stolen. And I know what you have. I'm going to play off of it. That's one. But number two, when Drake says he, he like he set it up, I'm taking that to be this 11 year old daughter thing, because from everybody I've talked to, including Drake, we can't even see any like we don't even know where this came from. And Kendrick said it so definitively in a in his in, in what was supposed to be his biggest song, which was supposed to be the biggest expose. So that's the thing I'm going that's my theory. I believe that the eleven year old child thing from uh by Drake was probably either fed to Kendrick, planted I don't know how. I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how. Okay? But that is my theory. The truth becomes blurred amidst the spectacle of the feud leaving fans questioning the authenticity of their favorite artist's narratives. But amidst the chaos, there is a lesson to be learned. Fact-checking and critical thinking are essential tools in navigating the world of hip-hop beefs. Rather than blindly accepting narratives presented in diss tracks, fans must scrutinize and analyze the information provided. By holding artists accountable for their words, we elevate the discourse and demand honesty in an industry often clouded by ego and bravado. As the dust settles on this feud, it's crucial to remember the bigger picture. While debates rage on about who emerged victorious, the true winner is hip hop culture itself. Anthony Top Dog Tiffith aptly notes that keeping the battle on wax is a win for the culture preserving the art form amidst sensationalism and media frenzy. So as we reflect on the twists and turns of this epic clash, let us not forget the importance of integrity and authenticity in hip hop. Let us continue to celebrate the artistry while holding artists accountable for their actions. And above all, let us keep the culture alive and thriving, one bar at a time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Ria. Leave your thoughts, questions, and suggestions for future topics in the comments below. Stay tuned for the latest updates and insights from the world of hip hop.